and, and really I did, I wasn't formally trained. I, I had 10 professional wrestling matches, uh, <laughs> untrained, you know, on a local, uh, it wasn't actually in Portland because there was something to do with the commission and her promoter. Uh, I'm sorry, not the promoter. They couldn't get a promoter's license in Oregon. They had some, I don't know what it was with the, with the, the governor or whatever it was, but they had to go across the river to Vancouver, Washington to have these shows, uh, these te- little te- local TV show. So one summer, I think it was 90, the summer of 96. And that's when the, 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 um, WWE, or at the time it was still WWF, of course, and WCW wars were going on when the NWO formed, and that's when wrestling was really heightened, you know, really had changed, the landscape had changed. So it was a, a hot, you know, it was a, a, a hot topic, professional wrestling, going flipping back and forth. I'm sure you guys remember that very well. And so, you know, I was super inspired and, and really, really wanted to, uh, that's what I wanted to do. I, I, I knew that's what I, you know, I had question myself earlier in high school. I got to a, a relatively late start in, in wrestling. I had unformal training when I was about 25, 26, had 10 matches. I did decent. I was a, a good athlete, you know, division one wrestler, uh, been an athlete my whole life. So I was able to just do very minimal and be in tag matches and, 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 and get away with, you know, the green as ever, but you know, it, it worked for the, that local show, that promotion. Um, and so, Anyway, my point is I created this character. I'm a big big kid, a big Halloween freak, have been for years, and I created this face-painted character. Of course, I was inspired by guys like Ultimate Warrior, Sting, the Road Warriors, you know, the face-painted guys that look like colored comic books come to life. And so I kind of, and then, of course, I was fascinated with the, the better physiques, and it uh, had lived with uh, some bodybuilders in, in uh, Boise, Idaho, where I, that's where I went to school, Boise State, my undergrad. And, um, so I had this, this whole physique thing going on, face paint, you know, so those characters really, I gravitated towards. And so I created my own character and the name of the character is Phobia. Actually, if you go to my website, it's phobiatv.com. It's F-O-B-I-A TV.com. You can read the story and the, the, the beginnings, how it all started. Uh, and I won't, I won't ruin it for any listeners. They want to go to the site and, and, and go and, and learn more about the character. But the message is, you know, face your fears, overcome your fears, take control of your life. I've used it a lot uh, in recent times with uh, speaking to, to kids in schools uh, about overcoming self-limiting beliefs and um, the anti-bullying movement is something I was part of while well, that wave was really really running strong a few years back. And I still do to this day. Uh, but I've done some theatrical, some short films with it. And I've got some big visions with it. Uh, but not to get off topic, but the, the I'm circling back around to the fact that I really didn't have any formal training when my dad passed in 97, June 19th, 1997. And um, I sent that tape in uh, to the WWE. And of course, um, they bid on it. They uh, Bruce Pritchard was at the time, I think, head of talent relations, him and Jim Ross. And, and Jim Cornette was part of something there with, with creative. Um, there's so many roles are always changing, uh, you know, with that business. But anyway, I, I had... <laughs> I had this character that I, this face painted character, this very theatrical looking character, uh, that I would just get on the local, um, Boise State, I'm sorry, the, the local Boise news channel, uh, to, to, uh, you know, give a, a good PSA to the community. Safe trick or treating kids, you know, don't talk to strangers, stay at company with your parents, so forth, and, you know, that kind of stuff. So I really just showcased a couple high spots for my wrestling. Uh, matches I had in in Portland the, the the summer prior, actually it was that same year, um, and in '96, and then in '97 did the same thing with the phobia character. And another Halloween came around, so I didn't have there was no school there was a, no wrestling schools in in Boise, so I just used that theatrical character and, and you know the charisma that that exude and uh, you know I would I would prepare for that you know Halloween two months out, almost treated like a bodybuilding contest. I ate super clean and worked out, you know, extra cardio and all that kind of stuff. Of course, I was around some some bodybuilders that kind of taught me, took my, you know, physique to the next level with, with nutrition and just training techniques and whatnot. And so I had my tryout, went out to WBE uh, headquarters in Stanford. And first, uh, first person I ran into was besides Dr. Tom Pritchard, um, who I just spoke to the other day. It was always nice to talk to Tom and uh, Yoko Zuna was there and uh, he was my first uh, real experience at WBE and he was great to hang out with and 
kind of felt like family bonded right away because of his Samoan uh, heritage. You know, that's a that's a <laughs> all the Samoans such a long lineage of, of wrestlers and uh, great great at it too. You know, they they had so much success. 